What's good, Faith Family? It's your girl, L.A., and Miss Kavatica is in the garage on a trickle charger. But listen, I'm sitting here uh, enjoying some tea and um, resting my knee. <laughs> yeah, long story. But anyway, um, just wanted to share with you part two of the video that I uh, did um, on my trip to San Diego to visit our daughter and uh, my son-in-law and our second grandbaby. You know, sometimes you life is off the bike as well. You know, I love riding my bike and I love having a good time, but um, sometimes, you know, you gotta get off the bike and do life as well. And so I did. I took a, a 10 day trip to San Diego to visit our granddaughter and uh, our daughter and like I said, my son-in-law. But anyway, check out this video where we went to um, visit the botanical garden, which was absolutely gorgeous, beautiful garden. I wish I had a backyard like that, but I don't. But anyway, um, Texas is still preheating. <laughs> but in the meantime, in between time, I have a lot of projects around here to keep me busy since I'm not going to be riding my bike in this Texas heat. But I wanted to share the second video with you guys so you can kind of see what I did and how life is for me off the bike. So check this out. So here we are arriving at the San Diego Botanical Garden, which is located in Encinitas, California. Now, um, parking is free and admission is $18 for adults, $12 for a military discount, and $12 if you are a seasoned citizen. Now, y'all know babies dictate everything. And so we are going to attempt to get through this garden with my beautiful, lovely grandbaby. restrooms here and if you come wandering up here this is kind of fun there's a Chilean plant that is bright blue blooms and it's pretty neat to see and there's a waterfall area and then if you wander up here through the various things um, I like this area in here there's some cork trees from Portugal and dragon trees which are cool there's a cafe and more restrooms this area is succulents and vegetables and so on. If you really feel you know, ambitious, you can wander up to the other part of the garden. There's native plants, but generally, you should, especially with the little one, you might have a time limit. You just can kind of wander through here and over there and back. Yeah, you can take as much as little. I mean, you can spend days here or an hour, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> depending on whatever you want. So enjoy. And awesome. like I said, you're going to see a lot of the wee ones running around. Very well. Okay, take care. Thank she you. is just precious. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Heading to the toddler tonight? Yeah. So our first stop as you get through the Botanical Garden is the Dickinson Family Educational Conservatory, which is a community hub for gathering, learning, and celebrating. They do have weddings in this facility. But as you explore it, it has a beautiful state-of-the-art 8,000 square feet glass enclosure facility that opened in 2019. They celebrate, well, like I said, they celebrate weddings there and um, all kind of special events, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I would love to have a back patio um, with this kind of vibe. As you look up, you see these beautiful um, epiphytes. I guess I pronounced that right, but um, they're actually plant chandeliers, floating plant islands. Um, and the epiphytes are plants that naturally grow and attach to one another, giving the whole plant um, a, a support system. And so it was absolutely gorgeous. They do lower them so they can water them, which was amazing to see. But again, um, there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. As you're walking through, they were doing some work and um, some construction on the different gardening areas, but I mean, that's, that's to be expected. You can't have this huge facility, which is 37 uh, square acres of an urban oasis. They have four miles of meandering trails, um, they have an ocean view. We didn't get to see that, but um, I'm sure we'll probably go back at some point on our visits there. But over 5,300 plant species and 29 uniquely themed gardens that represent 15 different regions and many habitats of our world. 
it was like I said and I keep using the word amazing because you know at my age of being 56 years old I am so blessed that God is now allowing me to see some beautiful things that I've never you know experienced before and so to walk through this beautiful garden was just absolutely amazing (laughs) but um it was truly a wonderful experience just to see um all the different flowers all the different shades of greenery and throughout the whole garden um area you can hear the botanical garden you can hear the humming of bees as they were pollinating the different flowers And you can hear water in the distance and you can hear birds chirping. And it was like, I I mean, and I hate to keep using the word, but you guys can count it if you want to. (laughs) But it was amazing to just be in this space in this time and see all of this beautiful um, nature take place. So as we made our way through the botanical garden, looking up into the sky, I mean, just with these wonderful, towering, tall trees, and they have a bamboo garden as well. Again, it was a sight to behold because I've never seen a bamboo garden before, but they have these huge bamboo gardens that were just everywhere. And it's amazing to see how they could actually fit um, the different species of plants in this space. And again, you could hear just the sound of water, the waterfalls, um, which I hear if you go to a particular point in the botanical garden, you'll see this wonderful waterfall. Now we had our grandbaby, I had my grandbaby with us. And so naturally, you know, a baby is going to dictate how long you stay and what you actually do. So we were very, um, time concerned and conscious about how we, you know, made our way through this space. But again, beautiful little vignettes of water gardens and little bitty waterfalls. And you could just sit there for hours listening to the the sound of water, the sound of bees humming, the, the, the chirping of birds, and just the peace that would surpass all understanding it was definitely a place to guard your heart and mind in. Now, this was an African garden. Now, again, they have over, I think they said like 29 uniquely themed gardens that represent different regions and habitats throughout our world. So this particular area was focused more on the plants that are found in Africa, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous because the colors and the uniqueness of the succulents and just the 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 different cat um, little green flowers that kind of look like cactus plants or whatever. I'm I'm not a, a a plant person, but I tell you, after walking through this space and experiencing um, all of these beautiful um, flowers, I'm gonna be. And I had to take a, a video of this because this entire trumpet angel trumpet tree was buzzing with bees and it was absolutely gorgeous Um, it's a flower that i really love and you see it a lot in louisiana but i tell you what if you are in san diego you owe it to yourself to check out the botanical garden it is a beautiful oasis and it is definitely a place to just spend some time Uh, praying, meditating, just chilling out. They have beautiful little uh, break areas where you can sit and enjoy a cup of coffee. Now, do not sit up under that trumpet tree because the entire tree 
was buzzing with bees, but it was beautiful, y'all. 